Is Sony's PS5 Pro really three times faster and arriving this holiday in 2024 right after this? Well, first of all, are they just rumors? Well, they're rumors to the point where the PS5 Pro does not have a release date, a price tag, and its power has not been fully confirmed. However, what's real out there is that there are dev kits that first party studios from Sony already have that are the PS5 quote unquote pro version dev kits. Now, of course, these dev kits will have more power, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee that this version of the PS5 will be coming out this holiday. Screenshots of technical documents have been leaked include 67 teraflops of 16-bit floating point calculation, being equivalent to roughly about 33 and a half teraflops of single precision compute. Now remember that the existing PS5 is roughly 10.28 teraflop console, but that's not the only determining factor to tell you which is better and where this console actually stands. Because if you're looking at just teraflops alone, as per the leaked information, we'd be looking at roughly about 10.28 for the PS5 in terms of teraflops versus roughly about 17 teraflops for the PS5 Pro. Is it a huge difference? No. Is it significant enough to see a difference? Of course. That's more than 1.5 times the amount of power, not three times. Where the three times as power comes out is when it comes to ray tracing. It is estimated that the PS5 Pro will be able to do three times the amount of ray tracing performance as a minimum, pushing almost up to four times compared to the regular PS5. We'll hopefully be looking at a 3.85 gigahertz CPU, a good increase compared to the existing PS5. And if all of this information that has been leaked is to be believed and confirmed, there's a potential launch date that many of these leakers are speculating to be November of this year, 2024. But until it actually is confirmed with a price tag and a release date, keep on gaming. That's it for this one. Hope you all enjoy. Take care. See you all in the next one.